Hello everybody, it's Miriala here once again, and welcome back to another figure unboxing. Yes, it's an Amiyami box. Yay, we got an Amiyami box again. It's not a super giant box because there's only one figure in here. But this one figure, I waited for over a year. She's She was supposed to come out last August and, you know, delays, 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 delays. But yeah, she got here today and... I have seen some pictures, and it's kind of eh, questionable. I'm hoping that those were just uh, one-off things, but it did kind of look like a pretty bad bootleg, kind of. <laughs> but yeah, but let's go ahead and get this figure open so I can tell you the name and everything. I mean, I'm sure you already know by looking at the title and all that, but I kind of like leaving it as kind of a little secret. And this one, I had to... Uh, Send it registered Sal instead of EMS because stuff, but yeah. So we open up the box and we have the Ami Ami card. I think we got this one last time. So we got Nuko, we got Amiko, and we got Ku Chuko. Chuko, yes, little mouse, little Nizumi. So yay, that's the Ami Ami card. And yes, I do have another one of those already. Then we'll open the paper. And we see the figure. Yes, we see the figure. It is Ellen. She is finally here. She is very tightly packed in, in the box. And she doesn't have a super giant box or anything, so that's a good thing. Yeah, uh, this is Eleonora Viltaria. She is from Madan no O no Vanadis, or Lord Marksman and the Vanadis. Uh, her Nickname is Ellen, so I would probably just call her Ellen instead of Eleanor. Uh, she is a 1 8 scale figure, and she is manufactured by Penguin Parade. This is my first Penguin Parade figure. I have heard questionable things about them in the past, and I seriously thought they were going to go out of business while I was waiting for her to be released. Um, but yeah, so she was originally supposed to release August of 2017. She finally released on July 30th of 2018. So basically a full year. I ordered her on April 15th of 2017. So it's been a year and a quarter. Yeah. Um, but yeah, anyways. Uh, she is a surprise cast off. There is no mention of that when you pre-ordered her, but then... Boom, you got an extra set of boobs in there. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I paid for her on August 1st of 2018 while I was not in the state. So that's why I had to choose the slow shipping because I didn't know when I would be back. Uh, and it sucked because I know why I choose EMS now. It shipped out on the 3rd and it finally got delivered on the 22nd. Which, I mean, really isn't horrible, but come on, that... Three days EMS, that's the way to go. Uh, I paid for Ellen 11,050 yen or $102.03. So, eh, not too horrible. Let's hope it's she's worth the money though. But anyways, there is the front of her box. There is the side of the box showing the back of the figure. There is the back of the box showing a couple different shots of her. There is the other side showing the side view with the tor torpedo boobs. Yes, she has very misshapen boobs. I will definitely admit to that. Uh, there is the top of the box. And then there is the bottom of the box with all the information, which we I cannot read. Maybe you can. But anyways, after a year and a quarter, let's get her open. So there's three seals, as is standard on figure boxes. Well, most figure boxes. And we'll pop the top open, maybe. Or we'll rip it to shred one way or the other. It will get open. Pull her out, look at the inside of the box, and it is blue. It's got some patterns in there. Probably can't see it through the glare. But it's not super exciting or anything. There's the view from the inside. So put that off to the side. And here is Ellen in her blister packaging. So she's fairly light so far. Uh, there she is from the front. There she is from the side and the back. 
and the other side and back to the front. Um, just going to check real quick. Sometimes they hide instructions on the side of the little liner and I do not see any instructions so no instructions. Let's get her out of the blister packaging. Uh, oh, she is taped on the top as well. Glad I caught that while I was spinning her. And then nothing on the bottom. So we'll pop this open. She's like stuck to the blister. Why is she stuck to the blister? Hmm. Mysteries abound. Well, anyways, we have her base. And it's kind of like a marble tile base. And it's got a little crushed mark with a little dent. That's where her sword goes. Uh, I'm sure the sword has a name. I don't know what it is. Copyright 2014. So, yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> uh, we'll pull out her sword. And let's see. So, it is quite a long sword. Nice little handle. It's uh, smooth-ish. A little bit of extra material on it. But it's got the little pommel with the little jewel inside of it. It's got the jewel in the guard and it's got the wing. It's got some good details in there. And then it's a just plain boring bet blade. Little little uh, detail at the tip there. So yeah, nothing super exciting about the sword. Um, here we have an extra piece for her skirt if you take off some stuff. And then here inside some black plastic we have the breasts. So we'll look at those later. I guess this will have to be a two-part unboxing again. Because YouTube. So that's why she came out with the blister. It, she is packed with sticky, sticky plastic. Just stuck to that. Sticking her cape to the thing. So her cape is kind of in its own blister packaging. That's okay. Protection and everything. It is taped shut as well. Get that open. And get the cape out. So on the bottom it's silver and blue. It's got little uh, gold brass, brass little ornaments on the ends and the top is red at least I think that's the top it could be the bottom we'll, we'll see when we try to figure her out now she should come out yes there we go uh, let's get the blister out of the way this out of the way so she comes apart in two pieces <laughs> So there is plastic there and plastic under the little skirt part. And I believe that is all the plastic. So we shall hmm, try to assemble her kind of like this. So I'm just going to look at the box real quick and determine Okay, so that cape goes around her neck with the red side up. So, does her head come off? Instructions would be nice. Feels like her head comes off. It's wiggling. But... I'm not going to apply too much force because I don't know for sure if it comes off. Um, hmm. Yeah, instructions definitely would be nice. Let's see if I can figure this out. Okay, so it doesn't look like her head actually comes off. Uh, if we look at her arm, underneath that little gold piece, there is a little peg hole for the cape. 
and same on this side so you just wrap it around and peg it in uh, I do see uh, like uh, some extra lines from molding so they didn't sand her hair down very well I believe her skirt part comes off as well but it's kind of kind of attached pretty well <laughs> And then the boobs also come off, like that. She does not look very attractive without her boobs on. So we'll go ahead and put those back on. And we'll put her, well, gotta have a look at the underwear. Important question, blue with a little, little tie. And she's got a booty, bit of a booty. Not super giant or anything. But nicely detailed. You can see the muscles and everything. Uh, she has some poofy socks. And again, it doesn't look like there's like this mold line in there. So didn't sand her down very well. But let's uh, go ahead and get her put together and put on her base and everything. So that goes on like that. Uh, this, I'm guessing... Goes on like that. And then goes on her body. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I'll leave this little piece off for now. So that goes on. And then the cape wraps around her. It goes there. Knocking the camera. Wait, oh yeah, that's right, the red goes up. I was going to say, this is a little bit too fiddly. So the cape goes on there, and it falls off. <laughs> ah, the fun, fun of trying to do things without instructions, and it's being fiddly and all that fun stuff. So yeah. Uh, I think with all the delays, they could have made this assembly a little bit better. Okay, I do believe she is mostly assembled. We'll put her on the base. Try to uh, line up the sword and the everything. So I'm guessing it goes through her hair. And into her hand somehow. Again, let's bring up the box and look. And I was incorrect in my assumption. So the sword goes in her hand like this, kind of, sort of. Then between her boobs and under her other hand. Yeah, I don't see that actually happening. Okay, let's bring her a little closer so I can kind of see what I'm doing. So I'm prying her fingers apart just a little bit to get the hilt of the sword, or the handle of the sword into her hand. And the cape fell off again. And then like that. Shove it down and it's, there's no way it's going to actually attach to the base. So yeah, uh, Penguin Parade, not necessarily recommended in the future. I mean, with all the delays, I mean, she doesn't look horrible or anything, but definitely could have been easier to assemble. Let's bring her closer, tilt the camera down so we can see her, and we'll do the spin around. So, there she is from the front, the spin around. It's kind of a shame because I really, really did like Ellen and the Madonna O Novanidis. I really like the anime. So when I saw this initially like the gray prototype I wasn't going to buy it. but then she got painted and she got suggested and I'm like fuck I'm gonna buy her. Bought her and then she was super delayed and yeah it is what it is. Not a horrible figure. Uh, I would recommend if you like her probably wait a little bit she most likely will go down in price in the aftermarket but yeah she is a decent size for a 1 8 I mean she fits that scale 
Uh, I did want to mention she does have her hair ornament with the feather sticking out of it. So yeah. So that's part one. Uh, we'll do a part two again with the uh, naughty bits. So yeah. I hope you all enjoyed. See you in part two. Bye bye. Oh yeah. By the way. Uh, Eleonora Viltaria, a.k.a. Ellen. She is from Madonna O Novanidis. She is a 1-8 scale figure by Penguin Parade. And she was released on July 30th of 2018. Uh, I bought her new at Amiami for $102.03. And I kind of feel I overpaid. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed. See you in part two. Bye-bye.